What's going on, people? I'm not going to give too much time and energy into this video because in my humble opinion, this is a shut, an open and shut case. I had a few people send me this video of the police gunning this young man down. And people were claiming that he was unarmed and family members, of course, are going to talk about how loving and sweet this young man was. But after viewing 13 body cams from the police, the killing was justified, but it was a bit overkill. The first thing that came to my mind was Ohio Cowboys because that's how this young man was gunned down like they were cowboys like they were out in the wild wild west now again this image is saying justice for Jalen, and of course black lives matter is out there protesting i really don't understand this generation i really don't i really don't understand this generation because they protest and get angry over things that are open and shut that makes they protest over things that don't really need to be protest in other words this young man already received justice for the choices that he made in life now watching that all 13 body cams this dude number one shot at the police while the police was pursuing a wild chase he was shooting out the car at the cops now in one of the body cams you can actually hear the gunshot and then the police you know said on the radio that shots were fired from one of the doors or windows of the vehicle. Now the video is on the internet. You guys can watch it for yourself. All 13 body cams. Not only that, they found a firearm with a magazine with rounds in it and a wedding ring. Now I know some of y'all would say, oh, police plant evidence, but no. Watch the video footage and you will see for yourself. And I completely understand that a lot of y'all don't like police, regardless of how right the cops are and how wrong the suspect is. This dude was nothing nice. The police tased this young man and it didn't work. This dude got in his car and started to drive. You had all of these cops with their firearms drawn telling this young man to stop, and he didn't. And then he get out and run. This dude runs. As a matter of fact, in one of the images, they have it circled where when the cops was pursuing this dude in a car chase, this dude, you can see the flash from the firearm, from the muzzle of that firearm out the window where he was shooting at the cops, right? So there's, there's nothing good about this dude, you know? Now, of course, his family, his friends are going to say how nice he is and how good he is. Of course, he's going to be nice and good to you guys. And I'm sure that if you really know this guy, if, you, if he's your family, you know his good as well as his bad. You know when he's lying to you and you know when he's telling the truth. You know when he's high and when he's not high, you know if he's a thief, you know if he's a murderer, you know if he's a rapist, you know if he's a pedophile because he's your family. But to the public, you're going to talk about how nice and sweet he is. But according to those 13 body cams, the footage, the firearm they found on him with the magazine, now, just the firearm alone and the magazine, if it's illegal, and I'm sure it's illegal 
that's a felony right there. So dude is a criminal from the very jump, just from the very giddy up. And then on that, he led the police on a chase, shot at them out of the window, right? Then got out the car and ran. And again, like I said, it was a bit overkill because I think it, it didn't take that many rounds to put him down at all. And while the young man was down, they still was firing shots. And you can hear somebody saying, cease fire. See, you reap what you sow. So for those of you that's talking about justice for Jalen, dude already received justice. That was the justice for what he did. Now, I don't know about this guy police record. Don't know what he did in the past. Don't even really care. The only reason I'm doing this video is because I had people sending me that video and was telling me about this black dude that got gunned down by police. He was unarmed. He was nice. He was sweet. He was innocent. And then when I went and took a look at the 13 body cams, 13, and read the reports, this dude, there's nothing good about him. If he did anything good in his life, that's null and void now. That's all voided out by the evil that he's done. And on top of that, dude had a mask on his face. Now, before some of y'all get to me, oh, you supposed to wear, come on, y'all. Don't, don't play that. I see dudes walking around with their whole head covered with mask on, you know, and you don't need that to walk inside a store or a post office. You don't need a whole mask where you can just pull it down over your face. To me, that's a person that's up to no good. You know, it's up to no good. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to spend much time on this, but um, justice has already been served. You reap what you sow. And unfortunately, there's people that's not going to learn from this. As long as they have black folk ignorantly supporting them, supporting criminals, you have black folks protesting to abort, to murder unborn children. And now they're protesting. Now all of a sudden Black Lives Matter show up on the scene and now they're protesting for this criminal that got what he deserved. He righteously deserved that. It was a bit overkill. I will say that. And if any charges be brought upon those cops, it's going to be because of the fact that there was overkill. And there were cops that came up and shot this dude while he was already down. That was wrong. But at the end of the day, whether it was overkill, the dude wasn't going to make it. He was not going to make it. And again, Ohio Cowboys and, Cow and Ohio has a reputation for taking out black men. Now, again, like I said, there used to be a time I, I used to be like a lot of y'all, you know, oh, he was a black man, unarmed police is just killing black men until all the truth came out. And then I started, had to back up. And then plus, just dealing with a lot of y'all every single day, man, even on the internet and listen to a lot of the views that you have, you know, you know, it tells a lot about you and your characters, just you supporting this criminal like this, but yet you're protesting to murder innocent unborn children. If you're so concerned about the innocent Blacks, then you should be more concerned about those unborn children that's being aborted, not even given a chance to live. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.